So, Madam Minister, I'm very pleased that you are at our Watercube studio. Can you please introduce yourself? I'm Honorable Dr. Hannah Louisa Bissiu, the Deputy Minister of Ministry of Water Resources, Works and Housing of Ghana. Okay, I understand that you just arrived from Ghana to uh, take part in the, in the World Water Day event here. I've been uh, hearing some very interesting uh, reports coming from Ghana on especially the political buy-in at the highest level on water and sanitation issues. Can you share a number of highlights in that respect with okay. the world? Well, um, with Ghana, um, when you talk about the political will in the country right now to provide water and sanitation for the people, I will want to, um, first of all, you know, let the world know that as a country, we are at the 62% of water coverage for the people of Ghana. So, like, 62% of Ghanaians have access to good um, drinking water. And the president in our last budget directed that we should budget for 20,000 boreholes. The 20,000 bowls, some of which will be mechanized, come to a high um, level or a high um, level reservoir. And from there, the water will come down by gravity and it will come to our homes or to various standpipes, depending on the community that we are serving. As I'm talking right now, we have the engineers on site. They are citing the places for the boreholes. There are communities that we will um, have to put hand pumps. There are communities that will have to give um, standpipes. This is an intervention that His Excellency the President directed that we do because we realize that with all the interventions we are doing in our country, when you come to Accra, we have the pond water expansion, which is going to add about 40 million gallons a day to, to us. We have the Atmaruras, that is going to take care of all the per urban areas of the Accra uh, metropolis. We have the Kumasi, all the big cities, we're expanding, we're building new plants. Now we have the oil fan in the western region of Ghana. We are moving in there, we are putting up new plants, we are putting up more rules to make sure that we can have access to good water. Now, when you talk about water without sanitation, mm -hmm. then you have a problem. What is happening is that government has also directed that we improve on the water-related sanitation. The Ministry of Water Resources, Works and Housing, together with the Ministry of um, Environment, Science and Technology, together with the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, we are working together in the waste disposal management and also in building um, toilet facilities for households. We subsidize the households, then we build institutional toilets where people will have access to good toilet facilities so that we do not use our water bodies as means of disposing of our waste and also as places where we defecate. We are also going through a lot of educational process where we are educating our people because at certain areas, because of our culture, if even you provide a toilet, we may not use. So this is where we are as government, and it has really paid off. People are beginning to understand why we have to save our water bodies. And in fact, there's an interesting group that has come up. It's called the Yogaga group. Yogaga means tall mountain. We had to climb a tall mountain, a very young journalist, to go and inspect a water reservoir. And when we came down from the mountain, the young journalist, after going around with me to see our water bodies, how some of them are dying because of deforestation, said, we are going to come together to form the Yogaga Fan Club, where the fun, we have fun planting trees, 
Arnon River Bodies, mm -hmm. which is a very good initiative by young people. A lot of people are coming on board. I have the privilege of being a patron of that fan club. Mm -hmm. So we will have fun greening Ghana by greening our water bodies so that we can save our water bodies. We have problems also with Galamse. When you talk about Galamse, it's illegal money in the river, in our river, river bodies. So what government does, is doing now is that all the sectors have come together and we are going to put security, 24 hour security, to patrol, patrol these water bodies to make sure that people who come in at night to illegally mine these rivers and pollute the river with heavy metals will also um, desist from that. We are also encouraging now as a policy rain harvesting that when you build it's not part of a draft housing policy that we should incorporate rain harvesting which means that means in, in when any new building goes up there should be some sort of rainwater rain, harvesting rain, and rain recycling harvesting. and reuse, yes, and reuse. Uh, we are also now into the biogas where the septic tanks of our homes we are also encouraging that we use the biogas because you know there's some part of the water that to come and you can use you know to water your plants so they don't have to use a treated water in watering your plants or probably washing your cars so these are some of the measures that government is taking to make sure that we can improve on both sanitation and water delivery system that is not good to hear and is this a result of the uh, follow-up say of the Etiquini declaration that the African Union put out and also the advice that 0.5 of the uh, percent of the, the GDP should be devoted nationally in African uh, by African governments also in water and sanitation is it how is that well I, I playing think, out in Ghana yeah I think it's playing out but you know the most important thing here is the political world is very important but yes we can have the we know we have we can have the declaration you we can show the commitment when we come to forums like this we are all committed we commit on paper we clap after signing and we leave so if there's no political will the real issue will not be tackled so it is the political will of his excellency the president who has made it a point that one of his priorities is water but he says you know what if there is water and sanitation you can tackle health because most of our health problems is yeah. water related yeah, water and related. sanitation related yeah. you can tackle education because if we are not sick we'll be going to school you can tackle productivity but apart from the fact that we use water in our, in our factories, what happens is that when we force it, we don't work, so productivity comes up. So His Excellency says his, his, the, the, his number one priority is water and sanitation. When he said this, some of us did not understand until we got in. Then we realized that it's a leader with a vision, it's a leader who is well determined and committed. And so that one is the key to all these declarations even though yes we also look on and we bring on board solutions the declarations that we have committed ourselves to that is why we budgeted even for this 20,000 bonus that we will be doing and we've already started we are on the field on the ground you know surveying and then um, locating the areas where we can get water so these are issues we'll be, we be, we be drilling bubbles in our various schools for the school children we are putting up a lot of in institutional latrines and then we are encouraging and also educating the waste management um, companies so work is really going on really so well. for some of these for the forums that we attend for the declarations that we commit to we put them into practice how are you using this world water day um, uh, are you using that in ghana also to uh, to uh, create awareness and, and commitment for action very very much um on on saturday this saturday past we held as a nation health walk yeah yeah that's a nation health walk towards the world water day and even 
just before I go on to tell you how we are doing it, I just want to also put across that in our country, the president has directed that every sixth March, we use it as sanitation. The sixth March is Independence Day, where nationwide massive sanitation exercise and education goes on. And it's also yielding very good fruit in the country. Now, as I'm talking with you right now, there is a huge celebration, or, or it's not celebration, like a, um, the forum also going on in Ghana. My minister is there with the directors, and as I came in here, I've been receiving phone calls, phone calls from radio stations, from TV stations, asking about the forum and talking about the Ghana issue. So in our country, the Water Forum, the World Water Day, is being largely, you know, um, um, performed accordingly and discussing the difficulties we have as a nation, where we were, how far we have come, and where we want to get to when it comes to water and sanitation. So it's pretty much the public awareness is being created. Okay, Madam Minister, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you also for having me.